You took it, didn't you? Good evening, Mrs. Hooper. It's my own fault for not hiding the cup. Obviously, if you're capable of arson, I should have known you'd be capable of breaking and entering. I don't know what you're talking about, Mrs. Hooper. I suppose you destroyed it. Again, I don't know what you're talking about, but... Yeah, I did. I was going to keep your secret. It's a shame you couldn't trust me. <laughs> you're a piece of work. You know that? Oh, Susan, let's not be unpleasant. We can go back to the same friendly relationship we've always had. I will keep my lawn looking nice, and I will make sure that my music isn't played too loud, and if I get some of your mail, heck, I'll run it right over, because that's what good neighbors do. But from now on, when I run into you on the street, and I say, good morning, Mrs. Hooper, or how are you, Mrs. Hooper, just know that inside, I am quietly, but decidedly, hating your guts. Careful, dear. Let's not say things we'll live to regret. Good evening, Mrs. Hooper. Mm -hmm. 